since I got a good look in his eyes, I just knew that he was special. He said he wanted to take it slow, but I couldn't help that I wanted to take it to the next level. Cause I wanted that great love, like standing in the middle of a bonfire. Don't know how you got there, but you hold tight, knowing that you can't get burned. Just tell me how we lost track of everything but each other. I Here's to the property that everybody calls about. They want a house, a barn, a shop, a place to run the horses, a pond, a creek. It's got it all. Four bedrooms, four baths. It's got about 4,000 square feet. Ken says it's less, she says it's more. I don't know. It's about 4,000 square feet. It's two floors and then a full walkout basement, which is easily multi-generational. 10 acres, it's got two five acre tracks. So you could actually have your son or son-in-law or your grandma or whatever, weird Uncle Harold, build another farm, build another farm, build another house over on that track. That's got the horse barn, which has its own water meter. So that track's got its own water meter. There's electric, ooh, right there between the horses, if you can see, straight up there. So electric power's already in. You just gotta throw in a septic system. You're rocking and rolling. You could build a second house if you want. But who wants neighbors? But you do want your family close. I get it. I totally get it. Four, ac uh, four acres. <laughs> Ten acres. I got to keep all these numbers straight. What do you want from me? I'm old. <laughs> and I did not have any wine last night, just so you know. One night. And one of the key features of this property is it's so close to everything. What did she say? Five, eight minutes to uh, Lexington. Five minutes to Brandon Crossing and even closer to a Dollar General. Brandon Crossing's got everything. It's like high dollar. You go down there, you'll see Ferraris riding around and girls with 32 foot tall stilettos and all that stuff. Fancy. You know we make our own wine. Go to our other channel and check out how to make wine. It's like so simple. How to make beer. It's really a lot of fun. If you like to cook, you're gonna like to do that stuff. Four bedrooms, four baths, 4,000 square feet, maybe a fireplace multi-generational. I said all this stuff. There's a lot of new stuff on this house and I want you to see it all. So stick with me to the end. I'm going to show you the 50 year warranty roof. 50 year warranty. How old am I going to be in 50 years? 108? Oy, geez. 108. Who would want to even live to be 108? Those are just the drooling years anyway. They say, Brad, you got to stop drinking so much wine. That's the wine's good for you. Not that much wine. You're gonna cut your lifespan by five years. I said five years is the drooling years. What do I want with that? This deck has just been stained. Just beautiful. There's a couple things that need to be done here. Ken can point them out to you, but I'm gonna show you the big stuff, the good stuff, and then he can point out the little nitpicky stuff, which you're gonna wanna do. You got a hydrant right here. I forgot to show you that. There's one of those hydrants there, frost proof hydrant. <laughs> Say that fast three times. Frostproof hydrant. There's one there. There's uh, another one down there. There's one at the barn for the horses. Come on. You got a farm. You're going to have frostproof hydrants. There's a clean out for the fireplace. That's real handy. That way you can get your big fat ass old lady up on the roof and have her run that stick down in there. Then open this out and just pull it out. Simple. In Kentucky, we are problem solvers. This is a two-car... I'm not going to show you the two-car garage first. That's going to be your workshop. I'm telling you. It's lovely. Awesome. They got a pool. They just covered up. Another deck in the back. They got big decks. That's all I can say. No one's ever accused me of that. That stone on the front. This house was built in 82, I think she said. And it's built like a... Well, like a brick stone. You know what? I love the floors. This is uh, old tobacco barn wood. So it's oak, it's, you know, full thickness, and uh, they make it to flooring so that you can use it. There's a little coat closet here. No big deal, it's a coat closet. But it's a coat closet, and it's a pretty big one, so I'm sure you wanted to see that. Couple things. 
When you're ready to buy in Kentucky, please give us a call. We would love to help you. Our team would love to represent you. We got your back. You know who we are. You know us. You know me. My gosh, we got videos of my house. All right, you know me. Let's do business together. And when you come to see this property, Ken will show you everything. He'll show you what they call a disclosure. So anything that the seller knows about, they're going to tell you. They're going to disclose. Hey, we had a roof leak or whatever. We put a brand new roof on in May. Okay, great. So 50-year shingle warranty and 25-year Lowe's warranty is what she said. So to me, that, that's gospel. So they write that down. And then Ken can help you with all that stuff. The fireplace. I should throw another log. Throw another log on the fire. And I guarantee you that's not going to start up. But I, I can't. I'm doing the stills. I'm doing the aerials. I'm doing the video. I can't be the chief fire maker too. We got some good pictures earlier. Hey, this has got one of those like. Ooh, look at that. It's blue. Then it's red. Then it's purple. What in the world? I don't know. Hippies live here or something? I don't know. I don't judge. I got weird lights in my house too. All right. So you got the living room. I'm like the king of dining rooms. Let me show you. I'll show you the dining room. This is one of the greatest things about this house that I think, I mean, yes, of course, the full walkout basement and all that jazz. Yes, 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 yes. But when you can look out the dining room window and see your horse, your horse stable, your horse stable, your horse barn, the paddocks and all that stuff. You can sit on the deck and watch the horses. That's top shelf for me. I mean, why have horses if you can't just sit and watch them? They're funnier than anything. These are like the friendliest horses in the whole wide world. You can open the door here in the summer. It's a little, it's a little nippy out there this morning. Now, I don't know what that is. It looks like it was a garden. And then there's another spot down there. I'll bet you it's really good soil because it looks good and dark. And, you know, dark is a uh, good loam soil. We, I can show you, um, or I can get it for you. Ken can show it to you, a soil map, so you can see what the deal is with that. Patio out back for the walkout basement. And these are like oversized bricks. These are like, I don't know. These are like, I got fat fingers, so I don't know, whatever. Those are three size, three fingers bricks. Maybe they're standard bricks. I don't know, they just look chunkier to me. Of course, at my age and weight, everything looks a little chunkier. The deck is good and solid. Come on now. Come around with me. There you go. Now you're behaving. If you don't behave, then I'll start calling you Cindy. It's a close joke. If you know us, you know us. We've been together 36 years. We got to razz on each other. If we didn't razz on each other, we would know right there that we didn't love each other. You got to have fun in your life. Good Lord. You got to have fun. And pick and choose your fights wisely all the time, right? Separate bathrooms, pick and choose your fights wisely. It's the only two uh, bits of advice I can give you when it comes to relationships. So 10 acres, I told you that, right? Five acres here, five acres there. It doesn't matter. You got both of them. You can do whatever you want. You could put a barn from that far side all the way over to this side if you want. A friend of mine called me just the other day and she said to me, hey, do you know where we can get a loan so that my son and his new wife and their new baby can build a house on their farm? And I said, you didn't ask me. And I'm not an estate planning attorney and I'm not anything. But I've been doing this since 1981 and I know it's just not fair. I told her, I said, we're close friends. I gotta tell you, that is not fair to do to your kid. If he's gonna spend all that money to build a house, I mean, what are we talking about? A couple hundred grand? That land needs to be in his name. Please peel it off, put it in the grandson's name. The grandson's like, I don't know maybe two months old or something. <laughs> so put it in the grandson's name. Go talk to an estate planning attorney, but don't have these poor kids build a house on land they don't own. What happens if whatever, you know, grandpa goes in a nursing home, they're gonna peel off all the equity off of that property before he even gets a chance to do anything. So I'm just telling you, listen to what I'm telling you. Now with this one, it's already done for you. So if you've got little Jimmy or Johnny or Jane or Mary or whatever, and she wants to build a house there, you're all set. It's on two different tracks. She gets track nine. This one gets track 10 or whatever the numbers are. You're done. You're cool. It's awesome. But take that advice because it's good advice. Solid.
yeah, you get some kind of lawsuit or God forbid they break up. You know, marriages never break up, right? Hardy, har, har, har. Dining room. All right. Now, where should I go in the kitchen? I might as well just walk in the kitchen. How about that? Beautiful quality cabinets. I'm going to go inside some of the drawers and all that stuff like I usually do. This is either granite or uh, quartz. I believe this to be quartz. I believe that to be granite. And why do I know that? Because I've checked it a thousand times and I could be wrong. You got to talk to a real kitchen person. I'm not real. Oh, ice machine. Very nice. What a bougie thing. We have an ice machine in our house. Why? Because the new ice makers these days don't make ice fast enough. I mean, they don't even make ice fast enough for the three or four of us. Can you imagine if you're having a party? You get an ice machine, it's already done for you. There's two grand you don't need to spend. You're welcome. The morning light comes in here. Just beautiful. Same here. Just beautiful. It's early here. Stay, all stainless appliances. Now, one thing I pointed out, we're going to go in the fridge. Yes, yes, yes. Isn't that beautiful? Just beautiful. And the under counter light, love it. Oh, let me show you a couple things. Here's the garage. So, aha, the Instapot. You know what I'd have under there? You know? What do I always talk about? The KitchenAid mixer. If you've got a, a young couple who are getting married and they need a gift, that is probably one of the best you'll ever do right there. And nobody's going to give it to them because it's like 200, 300 bucks. They're going to just give them a little thing, a pottery barn or whatever. And those are great stores. Give them the mixer. They'll never buy it on their own. They'll say, $300 for a mixer? That's crazy. Let me tell you. You'll will it to your kids. Isn't this beautiful? High quality. They got all kinds of stuff here. We got all kinds of storage space here. You can throw the microwave there. Oh, there's a microwave spot over there too. So I'm going to put the toaster oven there or here or whatever, right? Plenty and plenty and plenty of room. So I said to her, I said, hey, I got to ask. We got baking supplies and toilet paper. She said, I've got priorities. I said, okay, no problem. All right, we're going to go in. Wow, it's just like my refrigerator. It's like a crap -a Ah, you caught me. It's got the dividers already for the kitchen things. That's nice. It's, it's just all little things. Ain't no big deal. All these little things ain't no big deal, but it's just one less thing you got to do. Gen Air with a downdraft. Very nice. Haven't seen one of those in a very long time, and they are awesome. You can have yourself a little home office -y area thing here or whatever. I don't know what they do with these now these days because we got a home office right over here. I'll show it to you. The living room. How do I know it's the living room? Because the TV is here. It's actually a TV in the other living room. So what would you call this? Wait a minute. If the fireplace room is the living room, what is this? The rec room or the, the other living room or what? So we got steps on down to the poo. Nice. You can put a, de a big deck around that or whatever. Above ground pools, very popular here, very common. They're easy, you know. They're a lot cheaper than a big in-ground pool. Those bricks just look bigger, I'm just telling you. I'm not a brick expert, but dag on it. I'm just saying. Heat pump, so all electric. And then once it gets down to a certain temperature, then uh, the auxiliary heat comes on or whatever. So you're always good with heat. Uh, you could you know, throw a wood stove in the basement if you want, or pellet, pellet, uh, pellet, not pellet smoker, tea whiz, a pellet, um, pellet heater. What am I saying? Pellet stove. There you go. Heat pumps, real popular here because they work. This is a good sized room. You could do anything with it. If you've got the big living room, then you can have the second living room. Hey, how American of us, right? Two living rooms. This is currently the home office, but this is that ginormous coat closet. So maybe you don't need that. Maybe you cut it in half. Maybe you just use half of this and you call this a bedroom. It's got a window. Uh, it would have a closet. It's got some built-ins. Perfect. Nursery. Whatever. What do you think? Tell me in the comments below. I respect and I read every comment. All right. So walked around here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I always like to tell people what's the favorite thing in their house. 
what's my favorite thing in your whole house? I tell them whether it's decor or the fireplace or whatever, the goofy light up there that's, now it's green, nope, now it's blue. What's my favorite thing in this house? Well, one thing is it's got four bathrooms. I was gonna say something else, I'm glad I didn't. This is a family establishment here. Now, this was just, I guess, a powder room. So the hopper was over there and they put it over here and they borrowed from this closet. This is a, <laughs> this is a broom closet and that broom is very glad to see me, but also it is a one broom closet. That's it, that's all you get. And this is here. So that's really funny. Yes, it's really weird. I said, well, how do you get to the rest of it? He goes, no, that is the rest of it. That's it, that's all there is. It's not even a broom closet, it's like a bro closet, right? I'm gonna give him credit because he, he actually said it. He said, yeah, it's a one broom closet. Love it. Just fun stuff to talk about. Let's go on upstairs. Four bedrooms. I'm getting old and stiff. I'm just telling you. What'd you say? Yes, I know, I know. I heard you, Brad. You'd be a lot better off if you'd lose 60 or 80 pounds. Yes, yes, I know. Easier said than done. This is huge. If Ken would be nice to me and buy me a laser, a laser, I could measure these rooms for you. Tell you the truth, I don't have the time. But this is big. It's at least 16 by 18 or, yeah, it's 16 by 18. I don't know how big it is, but that's pretty close. This is fantastic. Where's all the laundry generated? In the bedrooms and the bathrooms. So here you go. Here's your master bath with a washer and dryer. I don't know if that stays. It'd be really handy if it did. Lots and lots of closets. So you got the, the his and her dealio here. We talk about that often. We've got a his and her, it's, it's kind of together. And Cindy has from there all the way to there. And then I have that much. That's all I need. I'm a guy, you know, what are you gonna do? I don't need all that stuff. I need 1,700 pairs of jeans. I only got two I like anyway. So here's maybe, I don't know. Here, take a look at the aerials here. This backyard is, you know, whatever. And then from the end of the backyard to the end of the property line, which is down by the creek, it's got to be maybe four or five times this. I don't know exactly. But you take a look and you tell me what you think. But it's, it's really far down there. There's a trail down there. No, I'm not gonna walk down there. I'm gonna burn my Fitbit up. I'm not gonna do that. I'll do a lot of things for you guys. I'd tumble for you, but I ain't gonna burn up my Fitbit. So Jack and Jill here. Again, you can look at the horses. Really nice. That was like a horse sound, wasn't it? Like, come here. All right, we gotta go downstairs. Then we gotta go to the horse barn. Actually, I don't need pictures of the horse barn. We already talked about the horse barn. I can go down there. Oh, you guys are killing me. It's got a little doggy door for a very small doggy or a kitty cat. This is the whole same, another floor. Okay, Brad, I'm going to build a house. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, state your name, state your name. Solemnly swear to never build a house without a full walkout basement. Why? This is why. Check out these apples. There's the mechanical room. Water heater is uh, 2016, it said, on it. And here is the, the heat pump. Ream. They're pretty good. I think we've got one of those. You know, I always grew up to know that like train was the best. And guess what happened? We put in a train, like six years later, the thing blew up. I was like, you know what? That's just not right. Here's another little workshop. I'm gonna show you the two uh, bay garage. That's a workshop, but you can have a little, um, what do you call it? Like a craft room thing here. Central water, it's on septic which is good because you're not paying 50 bucks a month for sewer that you don't use. But you could easily throw in a little sink down here. And, uh, and of course the breaker box is right there. 
you can throw in you can throw in a range or something sunroom place to keep the dogs mud room place to take off your shoes and maybe have an outdoor shower you can hose off from working in the garden you know those hot summer sticky days you can configure this any way you want. You know why? Because it'll be yours. Let's see. Oh, no light, but a big closet. And brand new. Everything's new that she told me. Everything. The floor, the cabinets, the, the, what do you call that thing? The shower, the fixtures. Everything's new. Looks beautiful. Looks great. I don't know what this shadow box thing is, but boy, you could put some art in there. Oh yeah. And there's probably on the back side of that closet. So you could actually stick a light in there or you could put shelves and store all your stuff. And that's a big one right there. That's, uh, that's five foot long. Let's see, let's count. So one, two, three, four, five. Yep, that's five foot long in that shower. Alrighty. Oh! So she was telling me all about the perennials that are here, which is great. Again, one less thing you got to do. And there's some, uh, these are some kind of hibiscus-y things. And that's a rhododendron or a mountain laurel or whatever. You know what those look like. That's Father's Day. Uh, and that's a crepe myrtle. They're beautiful. Weeping cherry. This door and operator is new. Now she said brand new. So I'm thinking... Like, she probably talks like I do. Like, brand new was maybe within the last six months or a year. I don't know. Maybe it's last week. I don't know. Perfect workshop. Two big garage. I'd make this sucker the best workshop in the whole wide world. Look at that. Right there, close to everything. Do you want to see this down here? Really? You're going to make me walk all the way down to this barn? I'll do it for you. So here, you've, I've told you how this works, right? What is this, a Simmons? I don't know what it is. Anyway, there's a foot valve at the bottom and a weep hole. So when you lift this up, this guy here, watch here. All right, and there's that. And then shut it off <laughs> before you get soaked. <laughs> and then you loosen this up, it breaks the suction. Look at this, see the suction? All right, it's coming out. It's also going out that foot valve. At the bottom, two feet down, you got a five gallon bucket size pit of stone, just crushed stone, not dust, just the three quarter crushed. When you shut that off, it closes the foot valve and it drains this whole stem. So you got a frost proof hydrant that'll last for 40 or 50 years. There may be uh, 75 or 100 bucks now these days. I used to get them, they were 50, now they're 75 to 150. Know that the Woodford is one of the best. They just put in stone here. She said, new driveway. And I'm like, well, I like new driveways. How you doing there, buddy? These are my buddies here. Hey, hi, buddy. Look at this. Yes. You want to sit in my lap, don't you? He wanted to sit in my lap earlier. He was coming closer and closer. And then he's following me. Then his buddy over here following me. See? <laughs> you are goofy. That's one thing about horses. They're either aloof or they're goofy. Doesn't seem like there's any in between. I've got a little pond over here. Here's another one. There's a Woodford. Yay. That's the that's the Mama Jama. That's the gold standard. They're about 150 bucks or so. Hello. How are you? What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you drinking? Hello. Well, that's a good thing about being in my business. You just never know when you're going to do different things. Come on there now. Come on. Knock it off. <laughs> Got a solar charger here so you don't have to run electric to it. There is no power to this barn. As far as I understand, we're going to go inside. But this solar charger, plenty. It goes 10 miles. There you go. And you can get the batteries redone. Every time that lights up, it's working. See it? Bleep. And the dogs can smell it. So if the dogs get anywhere near here and it's on, 
they won't go underneath. If you shut this off, then they'll, they'll shimmy right underneath. They know, they can, they must smell it or hear it. I'm not sure. Now, if you need water, uh, if you need water, you got water here. This is the second five acre tract. If you need power here, the power company will come right off of that pole. That's called the transformer up there. Whoa, whoa, that's my finger. That's not my finger. So doop, 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 there's the transformer. And they'll run off of that transformer and then you can just go underground. They require like schedule 80 pipe or schedule 40 in the bottom and schedule 80 as it's coming out of the ground or something like that. You got to check that. All you have to do is call the power company. It's a, a co-op and you just say, hey, send one of the engineers out here. I'm going to build a house right there and I need to know what I need to do. He'll come out and he'll say, well, we'll run it for you overhead for free or we'll give you a temporary service so you can start building or we'll bring it to your uh, meter pan if you put the you put the ditch in and the and the conduit <laughs> what are you guys doing you're a slobber puss get away from me i i'm all dressed up and that's funny if you knew me that's very funny but anyway they'll, they'll do all those things for you now i can't let you in here no 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 we only did it for the photo shoot will you stop <laughs> no <laughs> no way now, God forbid, I, fe I feed them. I'll never get rid of them. All right, you're staying out. Out, out, out. Hello. So good, they're leaving me alone. Ooh, nope. I see you. <laughs> I'll tell you, horses, all they want to do is get in trouble. So you gotta be careful. These are actually pretty fun and nice horses, but sometimes <laughs> all they wanna do is get in trouble. Got a nice, this is really nice. Expanded steel, tubing. Now there's supposed to be some kind of horse cookies in here or something. I hope she wasn't talking about the ones on the ground. Let's see what we got. These are nice stalls. The barn's built well. Be here a long time. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, we got mice. There's a mouse. And you got feed, you got mice. Now, where are these cookies? She said they got cookies in here. There's all kinds of mice in there. I ain't sticking my hand in there. No horse cookies today. They are moving out, so I'm sure that's a temporary thing. But clearly, if you're gonna have your horses in here, you wanna do something a little better than that, right? Stop, don't bite me. Do you mind? <laughs> I'm trying to close this thing, do you mind? What? <laughs> you are a nut job. You are too friendly, I don't know what your deal is. Are you a boy or a girl? Let me check down there. Oh, I can't see. I can't. I can't. I'll tell you, it's bad when, when you're too old and stiff to even check and see what sex you're dealing with. That could be dangerous at a bar. Good Lord. All right. I'm going to see you guys later, all right? You stay here. Hardy car, hard. <laughs> oh. We're in horse country. People call all the time and they say, Are you allowed to have horses? It's Kentucky. It's mandatory. You have to have horses. I actually got the drone really close to them. And you don't want to be messing around with drones and horses. You stay far away from the horses. You don't want to scare anybody. You know, my luck, they'll get scared and break an ankle or something. Then I'm in deep doo-doo. So I was getting, you know, 50 feet. They're interested. 40 feet, they're more interested. Here we are about 15 feet away. And they're like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> I got the video on, so just say hi yeah <laughs> so tell me real quick again about you got heat pump that does the heat and air in the house right mm -hmm. what does your power bill run total power um it depends on the time of the year and if you use the fireplace or not the in the summertime as low as 130 but usually about 150 to 250 depending on how cool you want to keep it in the house and then in the winter time it's higher up to 350 or so okay um and that's if you don't use the fireplace okay so cool. if you use the fireplace a lot it's a little less excellent 
Water bill? And I like it warm. Yeah, me too. Um, water bill for the, the, the barn lot's been about $25 a month, and then the house, like, 45 Okay. 40, 45 The horses. The tan one, what's his name? Her name. The one with Beauty. the white face, her name's Beauty. Beauty. And the other one? Money. Beauty and money. There's got to be a joke in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you guys. Yeah, yeah. The, um, the beauty was probably in your face the whole time I went. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's been here since she was a baby. Yeah, she's still a baby. She's only three. <laughs> yeah, she is. She's, she's only three. She's like on me, <laughs> trying to nibble my ears. You know, it's like, yeah. stop, you know. So. I told you, if you went out there, they'd be all over you. They're friendly. So. Yeah. yeah. I appreciate it. Um, I also know the previous owner, so if there's something that I don't know, like I usually just text her and she tells me they lived here for 23 years. Great. So, so I know where the water lines are. And I know the... where the water lines are because I put them all in. <laughs> oh, that's handy. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> and I, I mean, water line basically out to the barn runs right to the right of the driveway and then it crosses under the driveway right before the barn. What is this thing out here? It's this... the septic lines. Okay. That's the leach field. Okay, so that's the distribution box there? Yeah. And then I the, guess so. the lines that's the go leach out? Field. The tank itself is right behind the house. Okay. Um, you can kind of see where the line used to be. There used to be an old wetland system out here, so you probably saw that dirt field. Yeah. We um, took it out and covered it over. Okay, cool. So that we just did that like last week. Well, there you go. And there you have it. Stick around to the end. You've got to see the aerials. I want you to see this. There's like a, she said 30 or 80 foot bluff. I can't remember what she said, but, you know, a telephone pole is 30 feet. So that's quite a, quite a drop over there. And there's a little trail down to it. So you can take your wheeler and sit on the edge there and look at the water or listen to it. And one of the key features of this property is it's so close to everything. What did she say? Five, eight minutes to uh, Lexington, five minutes to Brandon Crossing. And even closer to a Dollar General. Brandon Cross has got everything. It's like high dollar. You go down there, you'll see Ferraris riding around and girls with 32 foot tall stilettos and all that stuff. Fancy. Not my stuff, but I like to go. And they got some good sushi down there. They got a good wine. I'm a little bit naughty. I'm a little bit too consumed. But every part of my body is telling me to run away from you. Come a little bit closer, yeah, yeah. Come a little bit closer, yeah. You're a little bit crazy. It's been days, but you never change. What's love got to do with it? He comes around, but I'm not that stuck down. Come a little bit closer, yeah, yeah. Come a little bit closer, yeah. Ladies who got a brother that doesn't treat them right Put your finger right in his face and tell that man bye-bye I'm too fly, I'm too fly Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye Here's to the memories Cheers to who used to be me. I'm glad that's what you believe. So all my ladies who got a brother that doesn't treat them right. Put your finger right in his face and tell that man bye bye. I'm too fly. There we are. <laughs> Off to a good start. Let me just start with Happy New Year. No, it's not even Thanksgiving yet. All right, hold on. We've got a great property. It's everything everyone wants. Let's tip one for this property. Here's to the property, which has, uh, I'm gonna sound like a partridge in a pear tree thing. What, what do they call that song? 
if you remember what it just put it here very nice oops wow that was amazing my glasses are gone i've got no glasses all right that's all right okay now we got to go play go find my glasses they're somewhere i love you especially because you watched through this whole video i highly recommend you look at this next video which i think you'll really like too